habitat is a place where all plants and animals coexist. Their basic needs like food and shelter are adequate and they can reproduce their young ones. They develop special features that help them to survive in those conditions. Deserts, rainforests, grasslands, mountains, oceans and fresh water are different habitats found on Earth. The habitats found on land are the mountains, deserts, grasslands, forests and rainforests while oceans and fresh water are aquatic habitats. Let us have an idea about some of the habitats on land. Mountains are among the coldest and most harsh habitats. These are mostly treeless regions. These regions are covered with snow almost all the year round. Mostly low-lying plants with small flowers sometimes grow in these regions in between rocks. The Himalayan blue pine is a pine tree that grows on the mountains. Most animals like the yak, mountain sheep and mountain goat grow long thick coat of fur and store fat under their skin to keep their bodies warm. The feet of mountain goats and mountain sheep are well suited for climbing steep and rocky slopes. Terrestrial habitats mainly include grasslands, deserts and rainforests. Grasslands are very flat and open lands that are mostly covered with tall grasses. These are regions that get more rain than a desert but not enough for forests to grow. They are a natural habitat of big animals like rhinos, elephants, giraffes, zebras, lions and hyenas as well as grazing animals like deer and gazelles. Camouflage Animals like lions, tigers and leopards hide from their prey. Lions and tigers sit quietly between the tall, dry grasses so that they are not visible. Their body coats blend with the dry and tall grasses. Leopards sit on the branches of trees. They hide in this way so that they can attack their prey that passes from below the tree. Deserts are dry lands that receive very less or no rainfall. 
desert animals, therefore, need special features that would keep their bodies cool and help survive using less water. A camel is well adapted to live in deserts because it can survive without food and water for days. Camels store fat in the hump, not water. The fat provides them energy. Since desert winds blow sand all around, so a camel has long eyelashes. The long eyelashes keep sand out of the camel's eyes. Thick eyebrows shield the eyes from the desert sun. Camels have nostrils that can open and close. The nostrils are closed when strong winds blow, so that sand doesn't get up its nose. The wide, spreading toes keep camels from sinking into the sand and the thick sole protects from the hot desert sand while walking. Watch the cacti of the Thar Desert. Plants like cacti growing in deserts have also adapted ways to store large amounts of water by special means. Cacti are one such type of plants that store a lot of water in their hollow stems. The rainforests are regions that get a lot of rain all the time. They have thick vegetation of tall trees that grow very close together to form a thick canopy. Because of a thick cover of trees, not much sunlight is able to penetrate inside. Hence, the floor of rainforests are usually clear of plants. There are a diverse range of animals in rainforests, from tiny insects to large animals. This is due to sufficient water and a wide variety of food in the dense forests. Rainforests are populated with snakes, such as the king cobra and other animals like monkeys, butterflies, termites and pythons. These animals live on tall trees and forest clearings for most of the time. Different animals dwell at different layers of the rainforests. Human activities have spoiled the natural habitats to a large extent, thereby threatening the life of plants and animals that thrive there. We should encourage the protection of ecological parks, sanctuaries, forest reserves and also wildlife.